Let's suppose that you buy a fruit cart and you decide to start selling oranges. Here's a table that shows the number of oranges sold for a given date in the beginning of June. So we see, for example, on June 8th, you sold 21 oranges. We can think of the input as the date and the output as the number of oranges sold. In other words, the number of oranges sold is a function of the date. Given a date, you can tell me how many oranges were sold on that date. This is one example of a function. Now let's suppose that instead of buying the fruit cart, you rented the fruit cart. The cost of renting the cart is a flat fee of $50 plus $5 for each additional hour. So the cost as a function of the number of hours is 50, that's the flat fee, plus 5 times x, that's $5 for each additional hour. So again, we have an input, the number of hours, and we have an output, the cost of renting the cart. Notice that each input corresponds to one unique output. This is another example of a function. In each of the examples that we just saw, we had an input, an output, and each input corresponded to a unique output. These things are true for all functions.